everybody, welcome to another video on the Jordan Stoltz YouTube channel. As you saw, combining once again, and uh, the harvest that's going on right now is canola. Got it sprayed a few days ago and kind of finished it off the rest of the way. It's ready to go. So we're one field down, one's finished up, and the 9610 is working on another one as we speak. The 9760 got something caught in it, so we need a service call for this. So we switched to the 9610 a little bit ago, right before I came. So this one's out of commission for today at least, and they'll probably come in tomorrow and fix this. My project of the afternoon has been getting this pull-type swather over here next to the shop uh, with the tractor there. And you can see my little blocked up system here to try to get the tire off because it's very, very flat. I aired it up out in the back behind the bins and I'm working on getting that thing off right now so we can change it. Don't want to put anything away with a flat tire. We're not really going to use the pull type swather again, but that tire was completely flat to the ground, which is not good. So I'm going to work on changing that tire, getting it off at least, and I believe run a truck or two out to the canola combining. got that tire off it looks good right now but it was completely flat on the ground I even had to jack it up out back to get air into it it was that flat and I don't know hopefully my little block system holds I guess we'll find out because it'd kind of be a pain if it didn't this little thing this cordless impact drill is like the best thing the farmers ever gotten we have a couple of them and they are just lifesavers and save so much time for getting stuff like tires off in a pinch. We do almost all our repairs with those now instead of the corded versions with the generator because it's just so much nicer to not have to be tied to something. All right, everybody, Piper and me are taking this green tandem truck down to the canola field. A little correction from earlier, I actually thought that first field was finished, but there's actually just like one pass left on that. So the 9610 is working on that, but the semi is full. So I'm bringing this down to finish out the field and uh, get the last little bit of canola. We're actually going to haul this canola into the elevator tonight as well in this truck and the semi. The elevator wants it tonight instead of tomorrow. So we're gonna have to get this hauled in here at the end of the day. Canola field just about done and we'll take a look at how the combining's going, uh, what the field looks like and head to town to get this canola hauled in. So here's the completed canola field. Uh, this one has some trees and ponds and things like that. Looks like it uh, just done except that back corner. I don't even know if you can see the combine but it's way up at the end there and getting that last pass done. begin harrowing here tonight before the end of the day. I'm gonna go out there and help get this harrow unfolded. It's heading out of the driveway now to go work the dirt in some of the barley fields that we did that are pretty dry. Haven't got rain quite a bit, so things are a little bit dry and the harrow definitely helps for next spring. We're gonna go out and fold that out, take off a couple tires that need to be flipped around and uh, maybe call it a day from there.
right, before we stop for the day, let's take a look at the 9760 combine and what's going on. There is something in this tailings auger and you can see the auger here, the vice grips with the attempt to try to get it out. It's this cover or a piece of metal or something, some kind of piece of the combine, obviously John Deere green uh, got through here and must have popped off of somewhere. So that'll be an adventure to try to get out. I'm not sure exactly the damage it did or even what has to be done to take it out, but that's a good job for a service call. To get the 9760 back into play, we're going to have to fix that. And one canola field is finished, and we're gonna start on the other one probably tomorrow if it's ready, uh, maybe in a couple days. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Well, it's the next day, and out here in this barley field that's all done here to get going on the harrowing, we got it all folded out last night, changed a couple tires, uh, the road tires, because they were a little bit worn uneven, so needed to replace those. Also, it looks like the swather tire got swapped out that we took off at the beginning of the video. But I'm gonna harrow all of this field here. This is one that's over here by the prairie roads and a barley field that we did complete already. This should just help uh, the spring and keep some moisture in the ground because of the dry cracked dirt because of this dry weather we're having. We're actually getting a little bit of sprinkles, but I don't think it's gonna be enough to shut down the harrowing for the day. Try to get this field done in a couple hours and see if this rain amounts to anything.